Hello, and welcome to this edition of the CSIAC podcast series. In today's episode, we'll be reviewing bug bounty programs. We also invite you to check out and discover more original content that's available on our website at www.csiac.org. If properly implemented, patch management is one of the most effective and least expensive tools used to protect against vulnerabilities. We continuously update our software systems. It is the primary mechanism we use to keep our system secure. However, our current system of patching is failing us. Many of the most damaging hacks in recent history became possible simply because someone failed to update their software. There are two basic paradigms of security. The first stems from the real world of cyber physical systems, the world of planes, trains, and automobiles. The second comes from the rapidly changing, highly complex world of software systems. Three examples illustrate the primary problem with patching. Equifax was hacked because it did not install a patch for its Apache web server, which was available two months before. The WannaCry malware affected unpatched Windows systems worldwide. Microsoft provided an emergency patch that neutralized the WannaCry malware, but unpatched systems still remain vulnerable. The Amnesia Internet of Things, IoT botnet, made use of a vulnerability that was found in digital video recorders. This had been disclosed a year before and a patch was available at that time. The Government Accountability Office, the GAO, is an independent, nonpartisan agency that provides recommendations to Congress and federal agencies to enhance their information security programs and controls. GAO found that testers identified a myriad of security flaws inherent in DOD weapon systems. The GAO identified security bugs which allowed them to elevate administrative privileges and assume control over DOD weapon systems. Unfortunately, the available patches are not as reliable as we would prefer. They still occasionally break the systems they should be fixing. Traditional application testing models do not scale well to meet the demands of modern development methodologies. These models are expensive, resource intensive, and provide only a point in time assessment. Modern application security assessments need to be on demand and continuous with an instant feedback loop. Bug bounty programs offer a worldwide community of researchers to identify these vulnerabilities. New data-driven businesses are exploding and organizations across industries are embracing new technological advancements. Unfortunately, cyber criminals are getting more sophisticated and cyber crime rates are increasing. The perception of risk seems to be the main problem. Too many companies estimate the cost of being a victim to be low and readily accept the risk. Many see data breaches just as the cost of doing business. The current threat landscape is driving innovation in the cybersecurity domain, but many organizations struggle with the acceleration rate of technological changes. With the increase in attack surface, threat actors are highly motivated to identify new ways to circumvent cybersecurity measures. Therefore, it is critical for cyber defenders to identify more innovative approaches to address vulnerabilities and strengthen security. 
vulnerability management plays a crucial role in finding a variety of security flaws in a system, prioritizing the resulting risk, and improving the overall security posture by addressing those likely to lead to incidents. Now let's take a look at what bug bounty programs are. They are an incentivized results focused program that encourages security researchers to report security issues to the sponsoring organization. It is a rewards program offered by an organization to external parties, authorizing and incentivizing them to perform security testing on the organization's assets. Bug bounty programs evolved from a novelty to a best practice in just a few short years. In 2016, Hack the Pentagon was the first federal bug bounty program pioneered by the Department of Defense. Since then, a number of bug bounty programs have been launched, focusing on identifying vulnerabilities throughout the DOD. According to reports, these programs have identified more than 7,000 vulnerabilities in military software and have paid out over $800,000 to different bug bounty researchers. Several organizations have made bug bounty programs their main method for sharing vulnerability reports. Agencies seeking to augment their security, however, should deliberately prepare before requesting independent hackers to vet their software for defects. Before your organization institutes its own bug bounty program, here are five things you should do. You have to determine if the program is right for you. Does your organization have the infrastructure and knowledgeable staff to handle the reports and deal with the issues? You need to have the reporting infrastructure in place. You have to be able to deal with the vulnerability reports and address the issues that are identified. Before you begin a bug bounty program, an organization needs to test their own security with automated scanning and basic penetration tests. You have to be responsive. You need to track issues and respond to submitters in a timely manner. And finally, you need to clearly specify exactly what issues and software are within scope of the program. Every organization must weigh the pros and cons before launching a bug bounty program. Start with a self-assessment. It can be a valuable tool when used carefully but organizations must evaluate all aspects of the program before investing resources into it. You must be thoughtful about how you design and implement these programs. Crowdsource security enables the DOD to harness the private sector technical talent and diverse security perspectives to help formulate best practices. In conclusion, bug bounty programs have proven to deliver higher levels of security through non-traditional sources for solutions to software design vulnerabilities. The DOD has effectively utilized their bug bounty program to leverage innovative ideas and tackle vulnerabilities across diverse military platforms. While bug bounty programs alone are not enough to secure your organization's software and services, they are rapidly becoming an essential part of every organization's security program. Take steps to be proactive in order to protect your organization from cyber attacks. On behalf of the CSIAC, we would like to thank you for viewing this podcast. We hope you found the content useful and informative. If you would like to provide us with feedback, please comment on this video or visit our website at www.csiac.org where you can also find additional content to review. Thank you.